Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. To radar we go. Storm system inbound. This is the one that then will move through the interior states, Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, Colorado, and New Mexico on 125 and 126. But you can see the mix of precipitation depending on elevation, California, Oregon, and Washington. All right, let me take you to my bullet points. Here's what I'm seeing this morning. This storm system today, 124 affects the West Coast, then the interior states, 125, 126. That's when you're going to see snow in Utah, Wyoming, Colorado. And then we're going to get a high pressure ridge, a brief one for Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, 127 through 131, where not much is happening and it's very warm across the interior. Then a very interesting type of pattern shift with a strong subtropical jet surges in for probably the first week of February. A big trough of low pressure will move in with it, and it's possible that's a much more active period with overrunning heavy precip from California into the, uh, the Intermountain West. Something to watch, and I'll show you what that could look like here in, in just a sec. In the Northeast, you've got some light snow changing over to rain. Um, it'll change to rain today and tomorrow, and probably rain on the 26th as well. That storm potential on the 28th appears to have shifted a little further south, so that's going to pull the snow away from the major ski areas. All right, let's go back. I want to show you water vapor satellite imagery this morning. So there is our storm system beginning to crash into the west coast. Again, the track will bring it down through the Intermountain States. Another area of low pressure behind it, that one will hit squarely against the west coast with a lot of warm air. Um, that happens in a few days. Here is the forecast radar and satellite. So that's a situation by this afternoon. Some very light snows moving through Colorado and New Mexico. Very, very light. So here we go uh, the afternoon into tomorrow. Here comes our storm system. Snow moving through Idaho into the Tetons, the Wasatch, and eventually by the afternoon into Colorado. And see that. And by the 26th, snow in Colorado, New Mexico comes to an end by the end of the day. Here comes that other storm system hitting squarely into the west coast, but it's going to stay there. Again, between 127 and about 131, interior high pressure through Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico keeps it mostly dry, high and dry, and very warm. The period along the west coast where you see that precipitation streaming in, it's a rich flow, especially into the Pacific Northwest, but the snow levels are going to shoot way up. Um, very high snow levels once we get into that time period, so just keep that in mind. All right, let's talk about the jet stream pattern here. Oh, you know what? Let's go one further. This is the forecast radar after the pattern shift. This is 2-2 very late in the day where we're going to get that really rich surge off the subtropical jet overrunning snows. You could see it's much more widespread here by 2-2, probably into 2-3, 2-4, maybe into 2-5. Big trough of low pressure sitting across the west. So I just want to give you a heads up on that. That's the pattern change possible that first week of February. Now let's inspect the jet stream. So this is tomorrow on 125. You can see the trough with that storm system sliding through Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, and New Mexico with that snow. Here's 127, storm gone, high pressure ridging across the Intermountain West, very warm and high snow levels. This is 2-2 after the pattern shift, big trough. Opens up with the subtropical jet blowing in warm air, blowing in precip, overrunning the high, and we're going to see much more widespread accumulation of snowfall. Um, there really is not a lot of cold air here. It will be a little bit colder eventually, but the Arctic air remains bottled up into Canada. Um, let's look at snow by time period. So today into tomorrow. Um, tomorrow's really the prime day for the Wasatch. I think you could see 6 to 12 in Little Cottonwood Canyon, probably 5 to 10 in Big Cottonwood Canyon, and probably 3 to 6 Park City, Deer Valley, Snow Basin. 1 to 4 in Colorado, 2 to 6 in the Tetons, and a fair amount of snow in Washington and B.C. Time period 2, 1, 6 through 1, 8, another 1 to 4 in Colorado. So on, one, on 25, you get some light snow, and on 26, Colorado also gets light snow. One to three each day, one to four, roughly like that. Another couple of inches in the Tetons. Here's the next time period. So this is 129 through 131. Notice the Intermountain West, mainly dry under that ridge of high pressure, but precip continues across the West Coast at, highest, at the highest of elevations. 
Here's the potential pattern shift, 2-1 through 2-2. Notice the snow expands and there's just more of it, all the way from California into Utah, Colorado, Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming. And that would continue to expand through 2-3, 2-4 and beyond. Let's go to the northeast. So again, rain or snow over to rain, 124 to 125 and 126. And then it's just very light snow chances, maybe something on the 28th, depending on how the track of that storm goes. Otherwise, we're probably going to have to wait until 2-1 or later to start to accumulate more snow. So very light snows in the northeast. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this morning mountain weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here and take care.